Sri Shandaram Naik, five minutes. Sir, I was going through the rules five of minutes. business. Okay. A lot of time is there. I was going through the rules of business of government of India, and it appears that there are almost hundred items mm -hmm. which are allotted to you under various departments. How will you will manage it? It's up to you. Hundred items in under various departments. And I hope you will go as per the rules in all your activities. I'm mentioning this because at the beginning itself, this government was installed by nominating Modi ji as Prime Minister of India. But we know the procedure. Constitution pro provides one procedure. The procedure followed by you is different. Constitution provides that those MPs who get elected they assemble at one place and then they elect a person. Maybe consensus, sometimes it's a consensus, as in our party also. But first criteria is the elected members gather together, then they elect a leader. It's a situation that our prime minister will be. This is totally unconstitutional. You have started, you have started government by this. That's why I'm mentioning this. Secondly, RSS from which you are taking inspiration. He has said that one man's rule, that is not a concept we, are, we want to follow. But yesterday, in your executive committee meeting, somebody has been named as empire, somebody has been named as man of the match. What is this? Who is man of the match? Who is empire? What is the game plan? Internet matters as a public. It was shown on TV. It, it please, it was, please. It, it was, it was shown. Please, please. It please. was, it was shown on television, live telecast. So Banjari there is no Ji, privacy. Please. Secondly, in your business, we were told there will be three layers. We are told in now in the administration there will be three layers only. Please. Have you amended the rules of business please, to reduce? the earlier layers to three layers. You are saying three layers. Let us know which are the three layers. Or is it that, like Gujarat, it was only one layer. There are no layers. One person is to decide all matters. And, and therefore, therefore, in the administration, how many layers are there, you would like to know. Thirdly, sir, you are Please don't spoil my time, I have got limited time. Secondly, secondly, you are, sir, a cadre controlling authority. Please, and please. You are a cadre controlling authority for all, all India services. He is expressing his views. And please. therefore, you have to look after the interest of cadre and administration. Because if cadre is dislodged, your administration will also be dislodged. The cadre controlling authority has got an important role to play. And in this circumstance, I am also taking out my case of Goa, where the chief minister himself also has approached you for asking a separate cadre for Goa, which I had taken all the five, six years I have been fighting. And chief minister was saying, I am not interested in the cadre. He told me here, the minister, in the, your former minister, he said that your chief minister there, that is uh, BJP, does not want, he is not interested in cadre. Therefore, how can I give you? Now, the BJP chief minister himself is interested and he has approached you. It's a good thing. So, there, you kindly look after that aspect also, so that cadre of Goa is strengthened. Another thing is foreign contribution. There are many NGOs who take foreign contribution and do their activities. Fine, there is no problem. Are you keeping a watch on all those who take foreign contribution because in some cases we have found that those who take foreign contribution, they also indulge in anti-national activities. They oppose public projects and they also instigate people to indulge in communalism. And therefore, it's your duty to see that foreign contribution do not go anywhere. Secondly, you are also in charge of Contempt of Court Act. Now, sir, in days it has become fashion that anybody speaking against judges, judiciary, they are hauled up for contempt. 
the contempt of court act needs amendment so that there is a total transparency secondly citizenship act you are also managing citizenship i all listed out 100 but i am saying not 100 i am mentioning only few citizenship can you can you hope can you can you imagine there are legislators in the country who are not citizens and if you are they are not citizens is it not the duty of your department to expedite the proceedings with respect to citizenship of elected representatives thirdly commissions of inquiry commissions inquiry are instituted for various purposes but it is it's, it is seen that whenever commissions of inquiry are instigated installed other proceedings normal cr criminal proceedings are stalled and commission inquiry takes years that therefore people go unpunished i'm speaking it from general point of view suppose that it is said that if you want to stall any proceeding stall any inquiry appoint a commission so that should not be approached commission scope is totally different and proceedings under criminal law Please is conclude. totally different another aspect which concerns you Agreed. you have brought ram into politics there is a law in 1988 rajiv ji's time it was enacted religious institution prevention of misuse act 1988 whereby nobody allowed to use religious places for for political purposes there is a long section which says how it violates the law how many of your party people especially are not indulging in this they use masjid mandir uh, other religious places for the purpose of whoever it is whatever may be the religion for the purpose of holding meetings in the precincts of religious institution therefore that should be also stopped and lastly what about this snoop gate who is the authorized person to authorize recording of tape tape recording of this thing is it your home secretary have you delegated this powers to some other authority or is there only one person who does this taping or who authorizes tape taping because if it is one person whole country so many activities are going on maybe as dibujaji singh said there are instruments now that anybody could go on top tapping i am talking in your Thank more you. interest more than ours please ensure that your ministers are safe that's why i'm saying this see Thank that you, they are conclude. safe say that their activities are not taped and therefore this that you have to as far as uh, taping is concerned you have to be very uh, transparent and people should be told who is the authority which is authorized to tape the phones of individuals thank, thank you, you sir thank you very much